Welcome, my name is Joyce and thank you for being a guest at my Easter brunch. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Joyce of Life, so you can officially become a part of my YouTube family. Today you are in for a treat. The star of this brunch are these super cute, super classy, edible bunny cocktails. And if you want to know how I created them, please keep watching. But first, we're going to start off with my favorite breakfast casserole. You want to start with a couple tablespoons of butter and some diced onions over high heat. I use frozen diced onions because it's easy for me. You're basically caramelizing the onions. The foundation of this dish is shredded hash browns and I just used a pack of Bob Evans. What sets this casserole apart from all the other casseroles is the ranch dressing seasoning. Potatoes can be very bland so you want to use a generous amount and this I use one fourth cup. What's the recipe without a dash of salt and my favorite coarse ground black pepper? The idea is to slightly brown the potatoes and cook most of the moisture out of the potatoes before adding them to the casserole to prevent the casserole from being too wet. This part usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Now to the good part, the toppings. I have about four green onions that I'm dicing up. I like to cook with a large bowl nearby for waste to keep things nice and tidy. I paid about $3 for this nice piece of smoked ham. I'm gonna trim it up and dice it up. You could buy already diced ham if you would like. Can't have a breakfast casserole without eggs. And for this casserole, I'm going to use eight. I started out with six, but I added two more because I just felt like I needed two more. I seasoned my eggs up with a little bit of seasoning salt and black pepper. And then I'm gonna add about a cup of heavy cream to the egg mixture and scramble them up.
You want to cover up your casserole tightly and put it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Your casserole should look like this when it comes out and if you're OCD like me, I like to take a wet napkin and just clean up around the dish, especially if I'm putting it on display. I want it to look extra pretty and then we're going to top with our green onions. This is just a delightful dish. As you can see, the flavor of the ham and the egg seeps down in between the shredded potatoes mixed with the ranch. It's just perfect. I've never met a guest who have, haven't wanted second and thirds. I mean, I can't keep it around long enough. My kids and my husband, they really, really love this dish. It's something that's simple, but so very delicious. Presentation is everything to me. I love to give that wow factor when I'm serving. Yet, I don't like it to be too hard or take up too much of my time. This casserole is my go-to when I'm serving because it makes a statement piece on the table. It's very delicious as well as inexpensive. Next, we're going to do our bunny cinnamon rolls. Another very easy dish that's going to make a statement on my Easter brunch table. To make the head of the bunny, I combine two cinnamon rolls by simply unraveling one cinnamon roll and adding it to the other cinnamon roll to make it larger. I have two cans of flaky cinnamon rolls. And yes, I said flaky. If you're not hip to the flaky cinnamon rolls, you got to get hip. Take your cinnamon rolls to another level. To make the ears, I unravel one whole cinnamon roll, cut it in half, and then sh shape the ears, press the ends of it down, and tuck it underneath the head of the bunny. To make them look unique and not like they came out of a can, I took the icing, put it in a Ziploc bag, and just drizzled it over the cinnamon roll. Last but definitely not least, the star of our Easter brunch, which are these beautiful bunny cocktails. You need a hollow chocolate bunny, which I purchased from Target. Mine is the Hershey's brand. To cut the head off, you want to put your knife in a pot of boiling water. Let it sit in there for about 10 to 15 seconds. And as you can see, I'm kind of testing it out on, at the top of the bunny head first to see if it's hot enough. It's not hot enough just yet, so I'm going to put it back in the water, let it get a little bit hotter. You want to keep a napkin nearby to constantly keep wiping the chocolate off of the knife. You don't want the chocolate dripping over the bunny and jeopardize the detail and the look of the bunny. Now that I know the knife is hot enough to go straight through, I'm going to go ahead and cut the um, bunny at the ideal spot, which is right at the top of the bunny head. I repeated this step for all four of my bunnies and after I was done cutting the top of the head off, I took the bunny, put it back in the plastic container that it came in and put it back in the box and put it in the freezer until I was ready to serve them.
For my non-alcoholic version of this drink, we're going to use chocolate milk. For the alcoholic version, we're going to use Bailey's. Unique creative drinks is like my thing. It's like my niche in a kitchen. I'm super passionate about it. Most of the drinks that I make are non-alcoholic because I do it all for my kids. They are my motivation in the kitchen. I love to see their eyes light up when they see what I've created. For the hubby and I, today I'm going to use Bailey's cream liqueur. Edible flowers and fresh mint is going to make these oh so pretty and give them that wow factor that I'm always striving for. Like I said before, drinks are my thing. So I keep a stash of paper straws. I get straws in different sizes, shapes, and colors, especially if I catch them at marks for like 50 cents or Dollar Tree. And voila, we are done. This has to be the cutest, easiest, not to mention cost-effective brunch. It's seasonal, it's delicious, and you won't have anything left over. Who doesn't like a nice egg casserole, a pretty drink, and I don't know a person that doesn't like cinnamon rolls. I want to thank you all for watching. Please make sure you follow me on IG at joys of life underscore underscore or hair and lash boutique. Please make sure you subscribe. And if I inspired you today and you post anything, please be sure to tag me. I would love to see what you guys come up with. See you next time.